Hello friends. In this session, I will be talking about evolution of .NET and C Sharp. This whole slide is going to have some information which maps to a version of .NET framework, associated version of Visual Studio and its year of release. Along with, I will be showing the version of C Sharp and the main feature of that particular C Sharp version. To understand this whole tutorial better, you need to focus on that there is a .NET framework version. For example, at the bottom left, I have .NET version 1.0 and 1.1. On the bottom right, I have something called Visual Studio 2002-2003. Now, this is basically the version of Visual Studio and the year of release. Now, let's see what started with. In the year 2002 and 2003, the main version of C-Sharp release was version 1.0 and the biggest feature of entire .NET framework was known as managed code. After that, in the year 2005, Visual Studio 2005 was launched, which came with .NET framework version 2.0 and C Sharp 2.0 was released with the main feature known as Generics. After that, version 3.0 and 3.5 came. The year was 2008, and the Visual Studio release name was Visual Studio 2008. The version of C Sharp was 3.0, and main feature was Link and Entity Framework. After that, Year 2010 came and Visual Studio 2010 was released and .NET 4.0 was also out. Accommodate these new features and provide development support for Visual Studio 2010. C Sharp 4.0 was released. The main feature was dynamic features and TPL. TPL stands for Task Parallel Library. Two more years after that, Visual Studio 2012 came out and .NET Framework version 4.5 came and C Sharp, known as 5.0, the most latest and most advanced version of C Sharp ever until now, which has a great inbuilt support for asynchronous programming with two great keywords, async and await. If you look at any latest feature, like for example, MVC4, it has support or async and await. And all other features of .NET Framework programming also had inbuilt support for async and await. Now, to summarize this whole thing, I am walking it through a screenshot of this entire slide, and that goes like this. To understand it better, this entire graph which I have drawn is divided into four pieces. One is the .NET Framework version. So, for example, I have .NET Framework version 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, 4.5. So, this is .NET Framework version. This .NET Framework version was released in combination of a Visual Studio and in a particular year. So, that thing is release year of an individual version of .NET and C Sharp. So, if you have .NET version 2.0, the release year was 2005. And these two things go together with Visual Studio 2005. Now, there is, with every single release, there is a version of programming language. So here, version is C Sharp 2.0. And one of the key features of that .NET framework and C Sharp is listed over here. So, managed code is the feature for one, which was the beginning of .NET, then generics, then link queue and entity framework, a dynamic and TPL, async programming and await. So, this is about evolution of .NET and C Sharp in .NET technology stack. Hope you guys like it and you will learn something out of it. Thank you.